start to doubt. And many of us will start to lose faith. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But can I tell you this morning, you need to remember what God promised in the beginning. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it's literally, again, that word is going to carry you through the hardships, through the valleys, through the flood, through the fire. It's the word that's going to help you to arrive in the place where God destines for you to be. Amen. Amen. Bible tells a story here about a man named Lazarus. And the Bible says that Lazarus is dying. Well, and Jesus is with his disciples, and and, and he receives word from the family. Say, listen, Jesus, Lazarus, uh, who you love, the, the the man you care about, he's dying. And Lord, we understand that you have healing power, and God, we need you to come see about it because we just know that if you show up, that everything will be all right. Hallelujah. And literally, he was right. If it, it, if God shows up, that literally anything can be changed. There's nothing too hard for him. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible says that Jesus sends a word. He says, you tell them that this sickness is not unto death. Hallelujah. But it's for the glory of God. Can I get a witness in here? Hallelujah. The Bible says he spoke a word. Hallelujah. The word of God spoke a word into the atmosphere God, to remedy the situation. Hallelujah. But then they returned to home. And the Bible says that Jesus just waited. He waited till the situation went from bad to worse. The Bible says he received word. Hallelujah. The word says um, that Jesus tell his disciples. He said, listen, Lazarus sleeps. Well. And they said, Lord, if he sleeps, he does well. He's probably getting rest and he'll be stronger in a little while. But he said, literally, no, Lazarus is dead. And I'm glad that for your sakes I wasn't there. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. But if you ever been waiting on God and it wasn't like an impossible situation and it seemed like you prayed and cried, you prayed and cried, you prayed and cried some more, you prayed, you called somebody to pray with you and y'all cried together. Y'all you stayed up all night. Hallelujah. Have you ever been in a situation like that when you Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Jesus. Hallelujah, you see. You see, hope is one thing, but faith is what you know. Faith has to be proven. Faith has to be put to the test. The rubber has to meet the law, baby. You got to walk this thing out. It's not just enough to say, Lord, I believe you. But what it really comes down to is, Lord, do I trust you? Do I trust you? He said a word, but how much do you trust him? Can I get a witness in here? Do you trust him this morning? But when it looks like the thing is dead, and they roll the rock in front of it, and by now the situation stinks, they've had the burial ceremony, they have had the repast, and everybody's going home, and you feel like you're laying in the tomb, wrapped up and tied up in a situation There weren't enough people who knew about it, huh? so he lets it get worse. Huh? Now everybody shows up at the funeral. Many people might not show up when you're sick. Can I tell you that? You might get a few visitors, huh? but, 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 but when you die, everybody that's saying they love you gonna show up. Well, now that's gonna help somebody. Hallelujah! You won't. You have a standing room only, but nobody cared enough to come and see you when you were going through, or even pray for you. Can I get a witness in here? But everybody wanna pretend at the home going ceremony that I love them so much I cared about them. Don't climb in my casket, baby. Show me today how much you care about me. You can't go with me there, but come see me while I'm still here. Come on with it. The Bible says in verse 38, Jesus again, he starts to groan within himself because you serve a God who can be touched with the feeling of your infirmities. He's not a God who stands afar off, but the Bible says in every way that you were tempted, that he was tempted in like manner, that he had to go through some of the same things that you had to go through, that he had to suffer some of the same temptations that you had to suffer. He can relate to us. He can understand why we're crying. And it's just it's amazing to me that God would cry because we're crying, that he'll hurt because we're hurting, that he'll go through because we go through, that he'll go through it with us. Hallelujah. The Bible says he groans. Yeah. Uh, it was a cave and a stone lay upon it. Yeah. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, his sister, said, Lord, he's dead. Well, yeah. Said, Lord, by this time he stinketh. Well, for he's been dead for four days. Well, Jesus said to her, he put her in remembrance of the word. Yeah. The physicians came, but they couldn't save Lazarus. All the people who loved him showed up, but they couldn't save Lazarus. Well. His mother and sisters prayed, but they couldn't save Lazarus. But nobody remembered the word that God has sent. Nobody remembered the promise. You see, you standing here worrying about a situation and you haven't even consorted the word of God to find out what he says about your situation. Can I get a witness in here? Jesus said unto her, Did I not say unto you that if you would believe that you would see the glory of God? Hallelujah. You see what you are? God has already sent a word about your situation. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you this morning that if you stand on the word of God, feet solidly planted, rooted in faith, that God cannot fail. He may have not come today, but when the sun arises tomorrow, God can show up in your situation and turn everything around. Amen. 
They took away the stone well. where they hit, where he was laid. And Jesus lifted his eyes and he prayed. He said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. Uh, and I knew, I know that you hear me always. But because of the people who stand by, uh, said uh, that they may believe that you have sent me. You see, now you understand the reason why he didn't rescue you yesterday. Now you understand the reason why you had to suffer a little while. Now you understand the reason why your brothers turned their backs on you. Now you understand the reason why the doctor didn't know what was going on. God was setting up, oh, he was setting a stage for the greatest performance on earth. Can I get a witness in here? Oh, the Bible says oh, that Jesus walks up to the toe. Hallelujah. People are standing by, are wondering what he's going to do now. And people are looking at you right now. Are you going to get yourself out of this situation? Uh, they don't understand what you had to go through. And you feel dead. Uh, you feel like you're trying up. You feel like you're decomposing. But can I tell you this morning uh, that it's not over until God says it's over. You can wrap me up. You can tie me up. You can roll the stone in front of the grave. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
left me his hands this morning. Amen. Not in the hands of people. Amen. I'm tired of people dropping me. Yeah. I'm tired of people dropping me. But the Bible says that he'll give his angels yeah. charge over me to lift me up so I won't dash my foot against the stones. God is involved. He sees what you're going through. He hears your cry. He sees your tears. He understands the hurt and the pain and the anguish. And he's getting ready to change the situation. Hold on. Be encouraged. Because it's lonely sometimes when people have rolled the rocks in front of you. It's lonely in that cave. But sometimes he puts you in a situation where it's just you and him. And he won't allow anybody else to speak to you. Some things you're going through, he won't even let people know about it. He'll roll their own the rock in front of you. But when people think that it's over for you, God is going to speak life in that situation. Now, you have to believe it. Because there's going to come a day. Yeah. When all you're going to have working on your side is that word. Yeah. Amen. I don't care how much money you got, yeah. how healthy you think you are, mm -hmm. how many friends you have. Listen, you're going to find out one day God is the only friend yeah. that you truly have. Yeah. 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 And he's going to say something about you. Yeah. And it's going to be that that carries you over. And they remembered the word in the beginning. The situation may have not seemed so hopeless. He sent a word, but when Lazarus, but, but when Lazarus died, the word went out the window. It may get worse before it gets better, but God's still involved. He's still able. And there's nothing worse than dead. Dead is the worst it can get. its best shot and God was still able to turn the situation around. It's not about how fast he answers. It's about the glory that he will get when everybody standing by watches him pull you out of something that they could get you out of. It's about his glory. Amen. It's about his glory. That's what it's about. And you are a willing participant <laughs> in the presentation. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God this morning. Because it's, he's still able. He's still able. He's still able. He's still able. Everything gone, he's still able. Everybody left, he's still able. No money in your pocket, he's still able. You don't know where it's coming from. He's still able. As long as he's in the situation. Hallelujah. He can turn it around. Hallelujah. God, we thank you right now. Hallelujah. God, for your presence and your power. God, we thank you for the anointing that's here. And Lord, we have determined that we're going to trust in you, Lord. Come hell, come high water, come floods, come armies and enemies, God, through traps, snares, God, we will trust in you. Hallelujah. Who else can we turn to? Who else can we look to? There is no other deliverer beside you. There is salvation in no other but you, God. You're the only God. Hallelujah. You're the only one worthy to be worshipped. The only one worthy to be adored. Hallelujah. The only one worthy of praise, Father. God, get the glory out of our lives, Lord. Though we understand, God, that through many trials and tribulations, the believer was entered into the kingdom, God. But, God, we thank you that you walk with us. We thank you that you stand by us, God. We thank you that you won't forsake us, Lord. But, God, that you're getting ready to call us out. And we bless your name, Jesus. We give you all honor, praise, and glory in Jesus' name today. Amen. 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 Can somebody just bless the Lord? Hallelujah. Can we just thank you this morning? Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Somebody do this. Can we just bless the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on. He gave you victory over death. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. I see all our mentors here.